Hello? Hello, I was just giving this a number. A call back, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I was speaking with more, a gentleman and he didn't really say anything to me, dear. I'm not quite sure what's going on. May I know who am I speaking with? You're speaking with Jennifer Westfield. Jennifer Westfield? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Westfield, your call right now is connected to Social Security Administration, and did you receive any case number or reference ID with the call? Oh, my. No, I just took the number from my answering machine, and I, I called it. I thought it might have been one of my friends. <clears throat> okay, um, give me a moment, ma'am. Let me have a look. All right, dear. Westfield, your current address is for Cooksville. Is where? Where did you say? I'm in West Virginia here. Right. Um, Ma'am, the call is in regards to your social security number. Have you received any calls from your local police or sheriff department? Oh. Oh, gosh. No, dear. No, I haven't. I, what's this all about? Hello, dear. Are you still there? I'm very confused on what all of this is about. You're saying my social security number. Is there something wrong with it? Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, dear. I was just speaking with, um... One of the ladies at, at, uh, wherever you guys are, yeah. she said, uh, you guys are with the Social Security Administration, and then she stopped talking. Okay, let me check. Well, what, I need to pull up your What's going phone. on here, dear? I... I'm a little frightened. Okay, I'll let you know, miss. Well, I need to pull up your file for that, miss, so verify your first and your last name, dear. Yes, my my first name is Jennifer, and my last name is Jennifer. Yes, my last name is Westfield. Can you spell it for me? W e s t f i e l d. Thank you so much for that, Mrs. Westfield. Well, yes. Verify your social number, your social security number, Miss. Uh, I don't. Up your file. I don't have it memorized, but it. I think it's okay. in the drawer here, with all my okay. papers. Okay, can you grab, can you grab your social card handy, Mrs. Jennifer? Okay, just take your time. All right, I, I have it here. Okay. It's two. Five, or no, no, that's not a five, that's a three. Two, three, six, um, that's a two, uh, seven, nine, six, nine, nine. Can you repeat the numbers uh, from the starting list? You want me to repeat it for you, dear? All right. Yes, miss. Two, three, six, uh, two, seven, nine, six, nine, nine. That is your social number, right? Yes, okay. dear. Mm -hmm. um, Madam, oh, first of all, Mrs. Jennifer, where did you issue your social in which state, Miss? That your would social be. Was issued? That would be West Virginia, dear. West Virginia, right. And what is your date of birth, Mrs. Westfield? I was born in, in 1970. Uh, and 1970. I'm, I'm 50 years old oh. now, if you'd believe that. Oh. 
Okay. Miss, uh, Jennifer, first of all, may I know, do you drive car? Oh, no, dear, I don't drive. My husband does, you though. Don't. I'm so sorry, miss. You're disabled, that's what you're trying to say? Like, uh, I'm not disabled, I just never oh. have had to drive around or anything. Oh. Okay. I just stay at so home now. You stay at your house? Yes, okay. yes. I'm a, I'm a uh. stay at home type person. But oh. Yes. Uh huh. Well, what I can see, Mrs. Jennifer, right now, your social is getting suspended, Miss. Oh, gosh. There are suspended. some kind of fraudulent activity that is running under your social in Texas. That is why this is happening with you. Have you ever been to Texas, Mrs. No. Westville? No, no, dear, I, I haven't been. What's going on in Texas? This is a little okay, frightening. Okay, I'll let you know step by step. There are some kind of fraudulent activity, so can you grab a piece of paper and a pen, Harry, miss? I'll let you know what you have to make a note of, first of all, okay? All right, dear, time. I have my piece grab of paper a pen and here. Paper. You have it. Wonderful, miss. So, you can have my name, dear. This is Officer Chris Dyer. Officer? C-H-R-I-S, Chris Dyer. Chris D Y E R Dyer. All right. Uh huh. I have a batch number. It's nine six seven nine zero six seven seven zero. zero. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. There is a case. A case and a warrant has been released under your name, Mrs. Westfield. So first of all, write on the warrant number. Then I'll let you know what is the warrant for. Alright, dear. So it's. Uh huh. Do you want me to spell warrant for you? It's like a rust warrant. Um. Is it a W A R A? R R oh. A N T. War and I D. Okay. Yes, W A R R A N T. Warrant. Alright, dear. What's the. Numbers. The number is, uh huh, five three dash five seven three five dash seven seven five, five four two four two. Yes, miss. So first of all, Mrs. Westfield, may I know like, are you banking with any bank which you don't want to get shut down right now? Uh, um, I'm not really sure. I have this this uh, internet thing that I use for my banking. I'm not too technologically oh, so keen. Um, oh. But you you don't know, like, you do have a bank account, right, miss, where your yes, money goes Yes, yes. I have an okay. online savings uh, oh. a checking. Okay. Uh-huh. And which account, miss? There are more than, like, 15 bank accounts. That's what I can see right now. Fifteen, dear. There should only be, there should only be three yes, separate accounts. Okay. So right now, Mrs. Westville, you know there are many fraudulent activity that is running. The warrant was for money laundering and for drug trafficking. Oh God. So um, mm -hmm, uh, I will be just reading the legal allegations which are running under your social, under your name in Texas. So I'll highly appreciate you, Mrs. Westfield, that please do not interrupt me, okay, in between. These are the federally secure lines, so trust me, Mrs. Westfield, I'll give you a fair enough chances to, to speak and raise your questions, too, once I have completed what my part, okay? All right, dear. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay. So... You know, this investigation started a week ago when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. This was a Toyota Corolla car. You never ever rented or own a Toyota Corolla, right, Mrs. Westbrook? Uh, oh, no. No, no. You never had a car. Those are too oh. cheap for me to be in. Oh, okay. So, may I know, Miss, apart from Toyota, do you have any other car? Which is right under your name? Well, my, my husband has a Rolls Royce and a 
Mercedes Benz no. Rose, type Rose of G-Wagon. I'm not really sure. Uh, yes, oh. it's a G-Wagon okay. and a, uh, some sort of Rolls oh. Royce. They're very fast, okay. you know. Oh, yes, miss. So Mrs. Westwell, right now the car which we found this car contains some blood and drugs residues inside the vehicle. Have you ever caught for drug trafficking? Like, do you do drugs and all? Oh dear, no, no. I'm I'm a proper no, right. woman. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. And may I know, Miss? Currently, are you living all alone, or you live with your family? I live with my husband here, in, in oh. our house, dear. So I'm sorry, you live with your husband and you have? No, just me and my husband, dear, in our house. Oh, you and your, and your house, right? Yes. Okay. So do you suspect anyone at this point of time? Those who can misuse with your information, maybe maybe it's your husband or your friends, the well, people, those who stay near you. Well, I, I certainly hope this is a, isn't how my husband got the Rolls Royce. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't Let think it's check. anyone in my family, dear. No one oh. has it out for me or wants to misuse anything uh, of mine. Okay. And have you ever lost your wallet? Maybe your cell phone? Or oh. might be your social in the past? I've lost everything about a few times. I've had to get all of my, oh. my ID and Maybe everything now. replaced. Okay. Maybe there is someone who has your information, okay? Oh and they are gosh. misusing with your information, but anyhow, you are getting arrested for no reason, okay? I'll let you know what is really happening, then, you know, I'll help you out in a better way, too. As I told you, miss, this car was rented under your name, under your social, the Toyota Corolla, which we are talking about right now. And, you know, miss, there is one address which was linked to that title of vehicle. This was in the city of El Paso, Texas. It's on the south border. Uh, you never West been Virginia, to El Paso, dear. Texas. I'm sorry, you uh, never been to El Paso, Texas, right? No, dear. I'm from uh, I'm from West Virginia. Okay. I'm from Charleston. Yes, I can see where you're. You're from a different state right now. So anyhow, this is someone else. So I'm just reading the allegations. So you know this address what we are talking about in El Paso, Texas. This address was raided by the U.S. Marshal too. But unfortunately, dear, you know, there was no one inside that residence. But the U.S. Marshal, they had also recovered eight to nine pounds of cocaine, which is an oh abuse of my. drug. There are, uh-huh, you know, that's an abuse of drug, dear, and there are many financial documents found inside that residence. The name of these Financial documents are Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, U.S.A. Bank, Credit Union, Fifth Third Bank, and it's more than, you know, 16 to 17 banking accounts, which has been linked under your name, under your social. There are many illegal transactions done to all of this country, like China, Jamaica, and Cayman Island, too. This entire paperwork has your name and your social, too. So, you know, it's a matter of money laundering case, too. More than 300s of thousands of dollars has been wired right now out oh of this gosh. country. Well, that's have you not ever done international, too much, dear. Have you ever, okay, have you ever done, like, international transaction out of this country? Uh, no, uh, everything I've ever bought has been here in West Virginia, dear. I've never, I've never actually left Charleston. Oh, okay. Okay, so Miss, right now, you know, that this entire paperwork has your name with your social, that is why we have to release a uh, arrest warrant for drug trafficking and for money Bad laundering joke. too. So Miss Westfield, right now, you know, according to section 42, subsection C, there is a DEA Act, okay? It's a Drug okay. Enforcement Administration Act, Miss wherein you might can be taken for a non bailable jail term of nine years and the penalty is oh gosh, more than nine years, one hundred I can't I can't do that. Yes, no, please dear. And you know the penalty will the penalty is more than one 
$150,000. It's a oh case gosh, of money laundering and drug trafficking. $150,000. So you don't told want me, to pay you told that. Me that you never, you know, you never been out of this country. You never left Charleston. I never you never did. Uh, I've always stayed uh, so close to my to where I was born. Okay. So you're trying to say this is not you, but there is someone who has your information right now and they are misusing with your social right now, uh, correct? Yes, dear, yes. So in this regard, Smith, you, you know, we had also checked your past records too. We have found out you are a law by citizen as of for right now. You know, there are no criminal, you know, we have checked your records. There was, you know, no criminal background, your social have no other complaint in the past two. That is why, miss, we haven't released the arrest warrant yet. Before doing that, we have to get in touch with you, as you are a law by citizen. So, Madam, Mrs. Westville, right now on this federally secure line, may I know what is what are your intentions right now towards this case file? Once we are disconnected, like, are you willing to cooperate? with the government mess with the Department of Justice right now yes. so that we can yes, cancel dear. the arrest warrant as we have to cancel the arrest warrant and find the culprit right now on this federally secure line okay so may I know are you willing to cooperate yes dear so th does yes, that mean right. I'm uh -huh. I'm working with you guys does that mean I'm uh -huh. undercover a little bit but you have to follow the procedures right now, which is I've given to you by the I've always wanted to be an undercover police officer. Uh -huh. This is quite <laughs> in intriguing. Nice. Good to hear that. So first of all, Mrs. Westfield, let me make you clear, okay? First of all, we have to cancel the arrest warrant. And trust me, Miss, canceling your arrest warrant right now, it's not an easy task, okay? We have to suspend your social right now. Oh okay, gosh, you will be right. <laughs> you will be allotted with a new social card with the new numbers over here. The reason, miss, why we are suspending your social and allotting you a, a new social is just because whenever in future your old social number, this can be used by the culprit, okay, by the enforcer. So whenever they try to use your old social number, then only mess we will be able to find the culprit too. And as you will be too out of this situation, as you will be holding a new social card with the new numbers, correct? You will be not involved again and again for this kind of activity in future, right? Okay. Uh huh. So right now there are more than 15 to 18 bank accounts with many credit cards. Oh, there gosh. are many properties which are linked right under your name. So once we suspend your social right now, you might can lose your bank accounts too, which we don't want you to lose your assets, okay? How it's do I get the how do I get all the money in them? There's I'll quite a bit know. there. Here. I'll let you know, okay. As you are willing to cooperate right now, so I will be having a war with the courthouse too. Okay, we don't want your asset to get shut down, so I'm pulling a asset verification form. It's a F11 form, according to section C, you know, subsection 42. Okay, there is a F11 you, form where, you know, I need to link your asset to the new social card and then shut down the rest of the bogus bank account. So, Mrs. Westville, it's a federally secure line, okay? You will be verifying your true belongings, which are truly created by you, not by the culprit. It's a recorded line, so make sure you're verifying your own you know your true belongings right now. Okay. So may I know, miss? Uh huh. Right now, the house which you live in, it's owned by you, right? Uh, it's under my husband's name. It's under your husband's name. And what is your current address, miss? It's four thousand one hundred and twelve Lancaster Avenue, Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. The zip code. Two, five, two, five, three, mm -hmm. zero, four. Okay, I'll repeat the address. It's four one one two Lamb Charleston. It's Lancaster Charleston Avenue. Lancaster. Oh. Yes, okay. dear. Uh huh. 
I got it, miss. All right. Lancaster, Charleston, West Virginia, 25304. Yes, dear. Mm -hmm. And miss, uh, right now, do you have any of the properties which is registered under your name? Oh, no, no, dear. It's just that house no. that my husband has. Oh, okay. My name's actually and not uh, under it, but but I do live in the house with him. Okay. And how many automobile or link right under your name, dear, right now? Uh, well, uh, none are under mine, dear, but my husband probably has a couple dozen vehicles. Okay. Okay. But uh, I, I can promise so you he doesn't own a Toyota Corolla. They're all... Oh, he don't have a Toyota, right? No, dear. Okay. They're all oh. a lot higher class than that. I wouldn't oh. be seen in one of those. Oh, okay. So, Mrs. Westville, may I know right now how many bank are laying under your name, Ms., which you don't want to get shut down right now? Uh, well, if it's under my name, then it won't be touching any of... If it won't involve anything with my husband, so it's, it'll probably just okay. be the online bank thing I have here. Oh, uh, which bank is it, miss? It, I'm not quite sure. My husband has it set up for me. I think it's called Norris in Town Union Bank. It's a, you can, it's you a can local check on thing. your cell phone, right? You can check on your cell phone, too. All right, let's you me can look check up the name now. here. Okay. It says, yes, Norris in uh -huh. Town Union Bank. Oh, uh, it's North, North has the, it's Credit Union? Norris in Town Union Northern Bank. Town. Yes, oh, Citizen dear. Bank. I can see over your miss. And what is the amount which you have in your checking? In my checking, I p yes, I probably should uh, let me let me log in here. Okay. Oh, okay. And check about your savings too. Like how many accounts do you have? I have checking and checking savings? online checking and then my savings account. Okay. Just check and let me know, miss. All right. My checking, I have 89,000. My online checking, I have about... Okay, it says here I have 62,000 in that. And in my savings, I have around... It says 235,000. 235,000? Yes, In your savings? Yes, dear. Okay. Any other bank which you bank with? Yeah, it's just this one, dear. I don't use anything else for my money. I, it, I have my little okay. Norris and Town Union card and I can take it to the ATMs and get the okay. money if I need to. But I usually just do everything from the comfort of uh -huh. my home, you know? Okay, Mrs. Westfall, right now, as we have to make sure that, you know, you're, as you told me, you are just banking with Northern Town Citizen Bank, and there are more than 18 to, you know, 17 bank accounts right now. Do you oh have any God. joint accounts? Do you have a joint account with your husband? Uh, yes, I have a one joint, joint account, but... One. Will that one be okay. be shut down as well? It's shut down. Oh gosh, there's a lot of money in that one, dear. <laughs> okay. So right now, miss, you have a debit card with your Northern Town Citizen Credit Union, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And do you also hold a credit card, miss? Uh, no, no, my husband doesn't like any any sort of credit cards. We don't okay. we don't need those, dear. Okay. Uh huh. Um, do you have any four hundred one k or or IRA plan? What's that, dear? An IRA? What? Like your four hundred one k, which you get through your work. 
Uh, oh, I don't work, mind. dear. Ah. I, I haven't oh. worked at all in my life. Oh, okay. I, I've come from a very I wealthy family. And, well, my husband was rich, so I, I've never had to do anything in my life. Okay. And uh, like, are you forgetting about any of the assets which are linked under your social? Oh, Maybe yes, any of the bank accounts or any a, other... There's a joint account with me and my husband. There's over a million dollars in there. We, we can't lose okay. that, dear. Yes, miss. And may I know, first of all, which bank is it, the joint account which you have with your husband? Well, I'm not it's sure. Chase it, bank. it would be under, under sure. his bank. Okay. I could text I'll make him an now and ask that, him. You know, whatever assets are linked right under your name too, like the joint account which you're talking, which you have with your husband too. This can be too shut down, so I will be having a word. I will be having a word with the courthouse too, as, as of for right now. You don't remember the name, right? No, dear. Like, can he you check and let me know? That or one, but he, he said there's. He wrote down instructions how to take money out of it here. Um, if I ever mm -hmm. need any. If he ever passes okay. away, he's always worried that he'll, his time will come too early and, th and that I'll be left behind. So he's, he's made sure that I'm all set in life. Okay. And he is still working, right? Or he is retired? Uh, he invested in the stock market a long, long time ago, honey. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes, dear. So he's very, very wealthy man. Okay. He's quite handsome oh. as well. Okay. So what I'll do is tell as of, you know, as a phenomenon, so I will be submitting this form inside the courthouse too. So that we can register your information right now, and you know, right now, and then we have to shut down the rest of the bogus bank account. So it will take 30 minutes or maybe one hour. All right, then. And Joe. before that, miss, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I said, all right, dear. All right, then, sure, that's what you told, right? You, know, you never <laughs> told, dear. <laughs> I said, all right, dear, what are you talking about? Uh huh. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. What are you talking about, dear? <laughs> Oh my god, Ben showed. Teddy Maki chewed smell, you idiot. You just tried to scam an old rich person, you fucker. What, are you gonna be quiet? You're gonna hang up like the rest of them, eh? You little Ben Kilori. You Ben Kichut. Why can't you talk? Is your lore full? Is your lore full? That's why you can't speak? You have nothing to say? Oh, come on. Come on, make it fun, buddy. Oh, you're just not gonna say anything, you fucking idiot. You're too scared. Really?